Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I am still trying to trick you, a fair warning, trying to trick you with some GED style mean, median, mode, and range problems. So let's take a look. It says the high temperatures in Fairbanks, Alaska one week in January are shown below. I've lived in Fairbanks, guys. This is truth, man. There are some ugly high temperatures there. So it says, what was the range of the high temperatures that week? And do you see this list of temperatures that, you know, I had a negative 3 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit, a positive 7, a 3, negative 6, 11, 9, and so on. So they asked me to find the range of these temperatures. Now, a lot of students remember what range is. That's not usually what tricks you guys. You guys rem remember that range is the span of how far the data spans. Or another way to think of it is the difference between the highest score and the lowest score. So the difference between the highest score and the lowest score. So hopefully you guys have learned from your GED classes because this comes up a lot. Difference must always be positive. So uh, just one way to make it positive would be to start with the high. So that's what I'll do. I'll start with the very highest temperature I see. And in this list, the highest temperature I see is a positive 11 degrees. And from that, I will subtract. Difference means subtract the lowest temp. Now let's take a look. The lowest temp is going to be the coldest temp. Obviously, the more negative you go, the lower you are. So the coldest temp I have in this list is negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I'm before I write this problem, I'm just going to come over to the side and show you how students will do this wrong. Students will say, oh, an 11 minus an 11. Oh, the range is zero degrees. There's no difference between the high temperature and the low temperature. And yet, hopefully, you know that doesn't make sense. Um, if you've ever been in a negative 11 degrees, it feels a whole lot different than positive 11 degrees. In fact, negative 11 degrees will make positive 11 degrees feel uh, downright balmy. Okay, y'all, there's a definite difference. So this math doesn't make sense. Something went wrong. And let's take a look at doing this the right way. I want to subtract because this is a difference problem. However, the number I'm not I'm subtracting is not 11 degrees. The high temperature was not 11. It was negative 11. So notice I end up with a second minus sign. Now you might be saying, Kate, 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 I'm not allowed a second negative sign. That's true. But your calculator can handle this or we can handle this mathematically. Basically, what this is telling you to do is take 11 and minus negative 11 degrees. Now, you can do that in your TI, uh, 30XS, by typing 11. And then you want the minus button that's on the right. And then the negative button is down in parentheses at the bottom. And then type 11. And you'll see you get 22 degrees. Now, how could that be? Well... Let's remember that minusing a negative number, or the opposite of subtraction, remember a minus sign can be thought of as opposite, the opposite of subtraction, the opposite of negative is addition. So two negatives in a row turn into a plus. 11 plus 11 is 22 degrees. It's really easy to picture this on a thermometer. If positive 11 degrees is up here and negative 11 degrees is up there, I've got 11 from here to here, 11 from there to there, of course it's a total of 22 degrees between the two, uh, difference between the two. So no matter which way you do it in a TI, remembering the mathematical al algorithm or drawing a diagram, you're going to see that we have a 22 degree difference between the high temperature and the low temperature here. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.